The Active Directory group membership tool uh, lets you get a report on all uh, Active Directory groups and their members. Um, in addition to the group membership tool, uh, there's also several built-in group reports that allow you to inventory and scan your domain for um, all of your groups. But with the membership tool, um, you just select the entire domain. You can select an OU or a group, or you can search uh, your domain. Um, but I'll just click Run, and this will go out and get all of my domain groups and all of its members. So once that's done, you can see um, I've got the user account in the first column here, and then the member, the uh, group they're a member of. So uh, Beverly is a member of IT Local, IT Folders, IT Printers, and so on. Um, so that's the entire domain. If you want to do a group or know you, you can uh, enter the path here or you can browse uh, to that OU or group. And I will just do, I'll select my management OU and I'll click run. And that will grab every group from that OU and get its members. So you can see here, uh, these groups are all management groups because they are in that OU. So once you have uh, your report, you can export that to a CSV Excel file or a PDF file. So now I've got an Excel file of all of my uh, user accounts and the group they're a member of. Um, one thing you can do is you can sort and filter on any of these columns. Um, so this makes it really easy to find uh, nested groups uh, in your network. So to find nested groups, you can come on the object class column and then you can just filter for group and now it's going to display all your nested groups so um, you can see here HR, HR underscore local is a member of IT local group and accounting local is a member, of, a member of the accounting printers group so that's just a really quick way to filter uh, the results to uh, get all of your um, nested groups And then you can search on anything. So maybe I want to find a specific user and see what member, what groups they're a member of. So you can type in any keyword here, and I'll just use the user's logon name. And you can see this user, Robert Allen, is a member of the domain admins group, domain users group, and domain admins group. And then another example is I'll just search for domain admins and you can see the domain admins group and who is a member um, there's only two members of the domain admins group but you can see domain admins is a member of other groups it's a member of the administrators group and it's a member of this denied uh, read only domain controller password replication group so one more example just search for another group. There's my IT local group, and you can see all of its uh, members. And then you can add and remove any columns, and it will pull um, that information in for that user. So you just click on the columns button here, and these on the right are the ones that are uh, currently selected, and then you can add remove any from uh, this list here. So I'm going to add city and street or city and state and then I'll just move those 
up. And then there you can see the city and state information for all of the users. So that's the group membership report tool. It's under tools. And then as I mentioned, under reports, um, there's all kinds of uh, there's all kinds of reports um, just on the groups. So you can get all groups created in the last seven days. And it'll show you the group name, when it was created, when it was changed. Um, if you want to see all security groups in your domain, um, any groups modified, last seven days, 30 days, 60 days, and it'll show you the change date, uh, groups managed. So if uh, there's a group that has a manager configured on it, so if you come into properties, managed by, if there's a manager set on that group, that's what this report is for. And you got unmanaged grouped, you know, all, all kinds of just little quick groups here, deleted groups, built-in groups, all groups. So that's, that's the uh, reporting tool. Uh, there's a group a membership report tool and then just a reporting tool. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.